What's up guys, so today we'll be reviewing the Milano ship from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You can see this has a stand, kind of like the Star Wars gimmick that they do with the stand, but this is like a miniature one from the original Hot Wheels and from a different uh, show or movie. Now, to take a look at the sand, it's just a plastic thing of a stand. You got the ship, which has a part to it, a keyhole. This is kind of like a keyhole, but this is where you put the stand. Wait a second. It's kind of hard to do it on camera, because you have to hold the camera. Okay. Wrong way. There. And I know you can't see it on camera because I'm literally looking at the camera. Okay. So you got the Milano ship. Very nice detail. It has a stand with the packaging. Now the packaging sort of felt strange. The choking hazard thing was on the front. I think these are one of the collector's cars which you put on display. Not cars, ships. They put on display. Now this doesn't look like a Hot Wheels now because it looks like a like band... I cars or ships, whatever you want to call them. Now this does go on the track, but it doesn't really. If you try to put it on the track, it just slides off. So it's not that type of Hot Wheels, which has wheels. Literally, this is like a key, and this is kind of like a thing to unlock it but it's not to unlock it it's to plug in there you go you got the Milano now what what would this be worth I don't know it's just a it just comes with a metal plastic version and the only parts that are truly metal is this part right here. These parts on the bottom, I guess, so. But this is the only metal part. This is plastic. This is all metal. When you go up, it's plastic. Very nice detail. And I hope I see one of these more around. It's not really like a rare rare. Well, it is a little bit rare. Surprisingly, if you don't have that much stores around you that have one of those dump things. And I just got this from Market Basket, so. Yeah. And it's just a plastic thing of a, a stand. Now this is just follows the same gimmick, but the only thing different is that it uses a different type of mechanism for the type of top thing. You see this on the other cars, or on the other ships, the Star Wars stands, wait a second, I gotta get a comparison. You guys, wait, just wait, yeah, I gotta get one of my Star Wars. Okay, I'm almost back, guys, okay? Just gotta get my... Okay, I'm back. Okay, so, let me compare it. Y yeah, I know. 
I got one of the golden uh Mo Lemon Falcons. If we just pop this out uh, off the stand. Okay, got it. Then this pop this out of its stand. There you go. You got all of these different types of stands, but in different sizes. And surprisingly new gimmicks that Hot Wheels are trying to do. Now this, this, this is the miniature size, this is the medium sized, or the, and here's the giant sized. This is the medium. This is the giant sized. But what all of them have in common is that they're Hot Wheels toy ships that need a stand. But it's how you plug them in is different. You see, this one has a square. This one has a key type of shape. This has a chamber that you put this in and you can switch the the stands but this one this stand doesn't have a gimmick at all for playing with it's more of like a display stand just like this but these come in both of these don't come in separate parts you have to put this stand together now if you're a hot wheels fan like me and collect you should already know that all the cars and all the ships and stuff are special too. Like I'm that type of Hot Wheeler that sees something cool and I want to get it. Now this gimmick is putting it on your finger and playing with it like you're taking damage to your enemy. Now how I would play with this is putting on your favorite ship and you have to read like it's attack damage and then you would have to whenever you get hit you have to take that certain type of damage super complicated but it's that one is for fun Th these two are not for fun they're all pieces of plastic sh sculpted now as of if you put them on their stands there's a little bit of a problem. Not a little bit of a problem. A, well, not a problem at all. Wait a second. You can just admire the score. Okay, you, you can admire it. It's so hard to put on a small thing of a stand. Okay, so you got this. This just put just slides in, well not slides in, mostly just snaps right on, and it's a cool uh, thing. Now, did I have to buy the stand with, separately with the car not in the packaging with the stand? No, the stand comes with this. Now, these come with these, this too. Wait a second, just to admire the blackness for a second. I'll get right back. Okay. So we got this gimmick. Now you see what I'm saying. Kids like to play with these. I mainly use these for just putting them there. Making them look beautiful. Now this is for a different reason. This one is for not playing with. It's for displaying. Sorry if I didn't wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. I'll I'll say happy Thanksgiving soon. Okay. So you got this type of stand. Now they come in different types of directions. Now this one is just a stand. That is just mainly for that. But all these are just stands, plastic. So that's it. We don't get that 
much of these types of ships anymore. And it's nice to see one around with a stand. And I like the cars that have fun little gimmicks into them. So that's it for this video, guys, and goodbye.